the key assessment chart guides all district based benchmark and read act assessment requirements. In addition, common formative assessments for reading, writing, and word study have been included. These are a new addition to the key assessment chart. This chart should guide teachers and school leadership to assess students for literacy development over time as required by law and by APS leadership. As you go through this webinar, we recommend that each teacher have a copy of the key assessment chart to reference along the way. On this particular slide, you'll see a link to that key assessment chart. This assessment chart contains all the benchmark approved assessments for elementary literacy, kinder specific assessments, and common formative assessments for elementary literacy. This chart has been reviewed and approved by APS administrative leadership. The second page of the key assessment chart includes information on READ Act requirements. We will unpack this page later in the webinar. This part of the key assessment chart reflects the requirements and approved schedule for Thinking Strategies Gold, TS Gold, Benchmark Assessment System, BAS, and READ Act Assessment. All assessments should be uploaded into Enrich as soon as assessments are complete. Baseline literacy achievement must be determined as soon as possible for all students. This will provide the up-to-the-minute data needed to make instructional moves that address student needs. In order to do this within the three areas of literacy instruction, benchmark and common formative assessments have been defined. The Benchmark Assessment System, BAS, is the district-approved assessment tool administered to all students at least quarterly. The results from BAS are entered into Enrich immediately after completion of the assessment. The common formative assessment for writing is the Teachers College Reading and Writing Project Writing on Demand Assessment with Rubric Analysis. This CFA is recommended especially when collecting a body of evidence for student instructional need analysis. The common formative assessment for word study is the Words Their Way Developmental Spelling Inventory available in the Words Their Way for ELL's resource and through the PALS assessment. This CFA is also recommended when collecting a body of evidence for student instructional need analysis. The second page of the key assessment chart includes information on READ Act requirements. Dates at the top <clears throat> indicate windows of time to complete the required assessments but please note that new students who start after the first assessment window will be given their required PALS assessments within their first and 30 instructional days. We will now have Form B instead of Form A because PALS alternates their tests every year. Next year we will use Form A and so on. The first testing window for READ Act is from August 12th to September 25th. We are using PALS to identify students who may have a significant reading deficiency. Using the PALS online system, teachers will need to administer two assessments to get a cut score for all students in grades 1 through 3. They will administer the spelling task, which can be administered to the whole class, in one testing session. Test teachers would then need to enter their spelling scores in the online system. The second PALS assessment is the words in isolation task. This assessment takes approximately two to five minutes per student and does need to be administered one-to-one. -one. It is better to administer using the online version. Students who already have a read plan in place should have the rest of the PALS assessments according to what PALS prompts the teacher to administer in order to confirm their current read plan goal and revise as necessary as soon as possible to accelerate their learning. If a student falls below the cut scores, the teacher can, at any time, administer the rest of the PALS assessments needed to identify a root cause. Tier 2 instruction and progress monitoring should begin immediately. A read plan is not written at this time. Fourth and fifth grade students who are on a read plan may or may not need PALS testing depending on their current read plan goals and other data. Please use the flowchart to determine what assessments to consider and confirm the goals in their read plan within the first 30 days of instruction. To confirm the goal is addressing the root cause of their significant reading deficiency. Fall 2 window is from September 28th to November 13th. Students who are not currently on a read plan and were below the cut scores according to PALS will need the rest of the diagnostic assessments according to PALS if they were not already administered in the first window. 
If the student is still below the cut score after 30 days of Tier 2 instruction and progress monitoring, the teacher will need to review and collect all data and work in collaboration with the school's MTSS team and family to create a read plan for the student. Please note that for the mid-year and spring window, only students who are already on a read plan or new students who need the assessments within their first 30 days will need PALS Form C administered. Please note there may be different cut scores within each testing window because there are a variety of assessments administered each time for different grade levels. Note the links embedded within each window to provide support and additional information for read requirements and PALS. At the bottom of the second page are supports for administering READ Act assessments and implementation. For clarification, these bullets say, for students on a READ plan, independent reading levels must be reported monthly and enriched for monitoring purposes. There will be more than one assessment given during each assessment window. The help sheet link below will support teachers entering more than one score during that assessment window. And reading levels can be determined by an analyzed running record or reading record using unseen text or by administering the BAS. In addition, the link to the READ website on APS's research and accountability page contains the most updated forms. We have updated our quarterly proficiency chart for 2015-16 by taking off DRA2 scores. We've also changed the READ cut scores to reflect PALS. Key items to note on the quarterly proficiency chart include, we are reporting independent reading levels for each quarter, each month for students on read plans. In order to gather an independent reading level, reading records or running records should be administered until the highest independent level is found. Note how cut scores are shown on the chart as well as proficiency levels at each grade. For questions or comments, please feel free to contact us at these email addresses.